Hello, Scrabble here, back with more Travis Strikes Again on the Nintendo Switch. They've added a new intro to the game with an update, so I'm just waiting for that to start here. We're going to open up today with that intro. You should know this long black is like a recording, or not a recording, it's like a loading screen for the game. It goes on for a really long time when you first start it. I really wish there was something there, but there's not. Here we go. Intro. You could get away from me? Goddamn filthy bum tried to get cute and pay some fixer to hide your ass away somewhere safe. But unfortunately for you, my nose is sharper than any other man's. Any other dog's, too, for that matter. You're sent. You know, the one similar to the stench of raw sewage led me right to you. Now it's time to die. Wait a sec. Just give me 30 seconds. I can explain. You got ten. Okay, there's a reason I ran away. I know that don't make it okay, but I felt real bad for selling you out to Curtis. Your ten seconds are up. Now go to hell. Curtis will be waiting for you. Vengeance for my daughter. My little girl was murdered. I had to avenge her. That's why I had to stay alive. You hear that, Mills? Yeah. Find the asshole who killed his kid. Now. Seven long years and I can't find him. Listen, Birkin. The score is zero to nothing. Two outs, bottom of the ninth. You're up to bat. Three balls and two strikes. You're up against the wall. The next pitch decides the game. You either kill or be killed. You're late. Okay, got it. No way. It only takes a pro two seconds. Your guy is hiding out in Texas, in the middle of nowhere. This name. I've heard it before. Travis Touchdown. Yeah, I remember. He's the champ up above ground, huh? Nice. Kill him. And bring your daughter back. Then we're all square. You smoke a crack or what? Bring him back. Charlotte. Don't think too much. Your brain is clogged with muscle. It'll just give you a headache. Whoa! Go kill Travis Touchdown. So there we see Dan from Killer7 tells Batman where Travis is, gives Batman the death ball. All right, now game we go back into Life is Destroyed. Looking forward to this. It's been a few days since I have been able to play. I wanted to make sure I had Wander Song finished off. I just can't maintain three games at the same time. It's a lot for me. Right now, anyway. Let's see if I can remember my way out of here. I think it's down here. Yeah.
Yeah, I still think we're going to case 10, if I had to guess. I don't see a blue skull yet. I hope I don't see a blue skull, honestly. The bug extra? Oh, wait, sheep man. Travis! You're familiar with insanity. You can feel it, can't you? Doppelganger's digitization has increased his purity as a killer even further. Don't hesitate. Otherwise, you're screwed. Oh, I'm not gonna hesitate. I'm gonna kill him. Looks like this is just about killing him. Toilet? We'll take it. Oh, other button. So we're gonna save here. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. Oh, that's good coffee. Power recovered. Looks like there's really nothing to this other than, I assume, just walking straight to the house we're going to. Oh, what's this now? That's him. Corkscrew. Different colored eyes. My name is Doppelganger Patrick Granada Jr. I am a professional killer. Why would you get in my way? A killer? You're just a crazy ass murderer. This game is bullshit. The developer really sucks. She's a genius. I gave birth to her and she gave birth to me. A perfect cycle. A true succession. You're like really fucked up, huh? But whatever. Sometimes you just gotta deal with weirdos like this, I guess. <laughs> you make me laugh. You think an assassin can kill a killer? See for yourself how different we are. Yeah, I guess we are pretty different. I just noticed a dude who kills by instinct and a psycho who kills for work. Let's see who's the strongest. Here's my doppelganger technique. One hit and you're dead. Perfect. I've been wanting some excitement. I can hear the sound. The sound of blood coursing through your veins. Now it's time to kill. I'm gonna reset your very existence. Mr. Doppelganger. Bring it, Doppelganger. I can't believe I was this close to the boss last time. That's crazy close. Whoop. Whoa. Whoa. I was going to say, if it's one hit, then I am concerned. Whoa. Whoop. There we go. There you go. Ah! Dodge, dodge, dodge! Slam, buddy, slam! Doppelganger 2! Come on, bring it. Bring on phase 2. Change, Doppel 2! Man, I just stunned him. Come on and slam! And welcome to the jam. Oh, was I supposed to kill those guys? I was probably supposed to kill those guys. How am I supposed to figure this out? Oh, gosh. Whoop. Boom. There you go. Whoa. Let's just zap him here. Phase three? Doppelganger three. Your final form, huh? What are you gonna do? Mutate and get real big? That was proposed, but it got scrapped for spec reasons. Huh, what the hell does that mean? Don't worry about it, I was thinking out loud. Change, Doppel 3! What do we got now? This one? No. Whoa! This one just moved, didn't he? No. No! You kidding me? 
Oh gosh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? I feel like there's gotta be an easy way to figure this out. He wasn't there! Loser! Can't move! Can't move! Can't move! Oh, there's lots of them. Oh, I see him. He just bowed. Ow. His coat moved. I have no idea how I'm supposed to figure this out. His head's moving. I have no idea how to figure this out. I don't know what he looks like, right? I gotta see what he looks like, because only one of them matches what he actually looks like. Oh, I see. They don't let me play here because I've already killed the guys. <sighs> okay, he's not that guy. He's not that guy. He could be that guy. Not that one. That one. Not that one? It is that one. It's got one left. It's got him. That was close. I feel like I almost lost that. You win! The long doppelganger. Result, pretty bad. Oh, I forgot about my level 3. Crap. C rank, yeah, that was bad. That was really bad. Charge attack zero, I totally forgot about him. Next time I'm gonna switch up my skill chips. You managed to defeat me, so this is what an assassin is. This is the truth. It's now clear that you're just like me. I'm nothing like you, you're just greedy. More greedy than anyone when it comes to killing. But you lack something crucial. Human emotion. That's not true, assassin, I am full of joy and happiness. Having joy without sorrow means you're just an empty specter. Sorrow? What? Go under hell for a while, Spectre. Then you'll know sorrow and pain. Hell? No, no, no! Ma, 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 help me! You're no longer even human, you're just a demon. Hehehe, I'll kill you! I think we already know that you won't kill me. Is that white, white sheep man? Doppelganger had become less than human. I think he would have been satisfied being beaten by you. He's still at large in the real world, though. I guess I need to be careful. New skill chip F91 require acquired. What's that do? Make me a doppelganger? I got the like I said, I'm gonna split up my skill chips next time, switch them around. We're back out of the game! And we need another death ball. Okay, so we're gonna look at t-shirts, then we will do the segment where we get the next death ball. If it's just a long talking segment, then that's what's coming up. 
And then next time, we will start off with the next death ball. Death ball number three. Oh, what's this? Doppelganger wasn't a weirdo, a pervert, or a psycho. He was just a straight-up murderer. His soul is still wandering that city, most likely in search of his daughter. Is that his atonement? No. He was just an arrogant fucking snob, always looking down on people. How full of shit. A new t-shirt's been added to the bathroom menu. A new article has been added to the ramen blog. Facts received from Kay. Facts received from Jean. A new scenario has been added to Travis Strikes Back. Head for your motorcycle. Save? Absolutely. Did I finish my coffee? No, I still have a sip left. Now my coffee is done. Just in time to pull my pants up. Okay, so... We've got a luchador mask over there. We got a PC. Fax, here we go. So we got a new one from K, right? Travis Touchdown, if you've come this far, then allow me to congratulate you on clearing the game. You're the first human to ever manage to clear two Death Drive games. And honestly, I'm pretty surprised. I've been sending these over and over, hoping that you'll give up and turn back. But the fact that I'm about to run out of paper apparently means that you have no intention of doing so. In that case, I hopefully... Telling you who I am will provide my message with a bit more authority. My name is Clark. I'm Dr. Juvenile's lover. What comes after clearing these games is nothing short of a tragedy for the entire human race. I just pray that you don't end up becoming the one to pull the trigger on this tragedy. God bless America. K. Okay. What happens? And Gene. Electric Thunder Tiger 2. I'm currently in a dark, wide open space. It seems really high up. I can't see the bottom when I look down. It's like looking down into the abyss. I can feel something looking back at me. I'm completely lost. Please. Come for me quickly. Interesting. So she is hidden in Electro Tiger Thunder 2. That is interesting. All right. How much money we got here? Uh, 31,000. We're going to buy some more shirts. Ooh, Treachery and Beatdown City. Double Kick Heroes. Oh, they added Double Kick Heroes? I don't know if that was there before. I really like Double Kick Heroes. We're going to buy Bit Trip Runner. I like it. We're going to add Wargroove, which I'm really looking forward to coming out. I'll be doing a video on that, but just one. And Salt and Sanctuary, which I'm planning to do when I'm done Dark Souls. We'll get one of those. And we have four Azteca Stones. I wonder if all the Azteca Stones... No. I was going to Oh, maybe. I was going to say, I wonder if these are all Devolver games. I'm honestly not positive. They could be. I know a lot of these are. Oh, interesting. These only cost 2000 down here. I wonder why that is. Maybe because they're not game specific. Uh, let's get... Uh, let's get down well. Let's get Piku Niku. We'll get Minute. We got one left. Um... Crossing Souls. That's fine. Oh, and I want to see the ramen blog, see the new ramen that we got. I think we found two of five in the last one. The opaque soup. Was this it? Yeah, life is destroy. Refreshing hints of smooth, refreshing hints of seafood having already been turned around for over a hundred years. This is seriously some historic world heritage level cuisine. The soup on the spoon spreading out before your eyes looks like the ramen version of the waters of Lake Baikal, the clearest lake in the world with even the bottom of the bowl visible. The moment it hits your tongue, you'll understand why this flavor has survived for so long. The noodles even have a hint of sweetness as they help spread the comforting subtle flavors. I slap a huge smile on my face and order a beer, but nope. With even with this ramen-based emotional experience, that's got to be minus 5,000 points. Go Chizo Sama Dishida. I got uh, Abura Soba, minus 9 million points. Born in Musahino in 1965 and raised with plenty. Access coffee and donuts open every day. Have I... Coffee and donuts? Have we been there? I don't even know. 
Raised with no soup, comes with salty sauce and plenty of char siu pork and green onions. I offer a little self introduction just to get this no of just to get to know this abura soba guy a little better. The overwhelming sense of junk food in a good way is somehow reminiscent of the American hip hop culture. With no soup in sight, I add spices to my liking and mix up the noodles and the sauce. Gathering at the bottom of the bowl before jumping in, I inhale the whole damn thing and then wet my whistle with a nice cold beer, except it's not on the menu. Since this injustice makes me want to call the cops, I'm giving it minus 9,110,000 points. Go Chiso Sama Ishida. That says Electric Thunder Tiger 2. Electric Thunder Tiger 2. Life is Destroy. Coffee and Donuts. What is Coffee and Donuts? We're going to go to the bathroom. And we are going to change our t shirt. So we did Hollow Knight already, and now we're going to do... A Toeful Boyfriend. Batman want to talk right now? No, he does not. Alright, and then like I said, we're going to do the motorcycle. Find the next Death Ball, and then we're going to stop. I think this... It was like 10 minutes last time, so maybe. So much reading, though. Travis strikes back. No more heroes. See if it's all just talking again. At least my throat is better than it was last time. Magic Tiger of the Mound. On the road. Let's go, Gene. Wait a second. Go where exactly? To find the death balls. Is there a problem? So we're doing this like a visual novel, huh? There's no reason not to. Them's the rules. Rules are meant to be broken. Didn't they teach you that in school? That's just common sense even for cats. So what's your problem? Come on, spill your brains. This bike just won't stop. The death balls await out past the wind. Listen up, Travis. Most of these gamers bought this game expecting a goddamn action game. So? So they don't want a buttload of text. Get it? Hold up. So, what am I supposed to do? What, you worried about our meta score? You scared of gamer reviews? If that's how you feel about it, then quit. Seriously? You're cool with just ending the series here? Just scrap the plans for that big ol' number three? Oh boy, no more heroes three! If you're fine with that, then go ahead. Maybe he's not fine with that. The Travis Strikes Back Digest. Coffee and Donuts was an original title for the Death Drive Mark II. A collaboration between Juvenile and Natsuma. Natsuma was a famous Taiwanese game creator. Juvenile was a huge fan of his SRPGs. They began the project after she sent him fan mail. Natsuma's most famous title was Eternal Organic Battle. The balance between story and gameplay was perfect. Natsuma sent over his storyline. A group of revolutionaries battle against corrupt politicians. They use smart and guerrilla smarts and guerrilla tactics to fight against the government. The story of the resistance. They say Natsuma's brilliant story made Juvenile cry. Anyway, I go and meet with a hardcore Natsuma fanboy. A Natsuma fanboy might have coffee and donuts. Fanboys talk. Like, a lot. I sat through two hours of Natsuma fanboy talk. Finally, I was able to ask about the death ball. I find out that the Texas Bronco Donuts chain purchased coffee and donuts in an auction. Oh good, they're not making me talk to the fanboy. I receive an invitation to Texas Bronco. They sent me through to the owner's room. It's a real pimped out luxurious room. Rich people have class. The furniture is all casina. The rug is Persian. We give a toast with scotch. Turns out the owner knows me. Apparently he'd seen my assassin ranking fights on pay-per-view. He paid three million per fight. The championship fight cost ten million. The United Assassins Association made crazy bank. So anyway, turned out he was a fan of mine. He brings the death ball out from a hidden room. He said he wanted to make Batman's dream come true. What? Why does he even know that dickhead? Turns out when Batman played for the Astros, the owner had been a famous pitcher and Batman's teammate. Blew out his shoulder three seasons in and retired. Tells me Batman was a great catcher. I don't give a shit. He had an amazing arm. Must have with that swing and all. Finally, the owner tells me his name. Nigel McAllister, the legendary pitcher. I'm a huge McAllister fan. On the road. Gene and I take the death ball and head home. Let's go, Gene. How was that? Nice one. Just the right amount of text. Your meta score just went up five points. For reals? I don't know. I'll kill you. Let's go home, Travis. Batman's waiting.
to be continued. New article has been added to the archives. Death Ball acquired a new game's playable. Save? Absolutely. Mainly because we're going to stop here. Next time, we will come back. We'll see coffee and donuts. And also, we will find Gene inside the next game. Or sorry, inside Electric uh, Thunder Tiger 2. Because she says she's in there. He still doesn't want to talk to me. Swish! No, I don't want to play yet. I just wanted to look. Oh, okay. They mark my rank. C rank. C rank. You garbage. And uh, coffee and donuts. Number three. Really interested in seeing what that's all about. And wondering. No, I do not have enough to level up. That's fine. It's interesting because I'm level five. I was just talking to a coworker today. He is stuck on the first boss so the um electric guy and he said i'm level six so i should be able to beat him like it's like level six i don't think i was level six and clearly not as i'm only level five right now all right that's gonna be it for me for now if you enjoyed the video go ahead and hit that like button if you want to see more Travis Strikes Back. Next time we are going into Coffee and Donuts and Finding Gene. Like I said, feel free to subscribe. Plus helps out the channel quite a bit. You can share the video. You can comment on the video. I love talking to people down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.